Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting exponential equation. We have x to the power log 3 plus x to the power log 5 equals 8. And we're going to be solving for x. I call this equation interesting because we have two powers of x that are different and they are irrational. And by the way, by log, I mean log base 10. When I don't write the base, it's always base 10. I know Wolfram Alpha interprets this usually as the natural log, which is kind of unfortunate, but anyways, there's nothing we can do about it. So we have this equation, and how do we solve it, right? Since it's non-standard, we have to use a non-standard method. We're going to be using some formulas and identities, and I'll be presenting two methods. And let's start with the first one. So for my first method, I want to go ahead and simplify this expression. So first of all, I want to attempt something. Can I just factor this equation? If I put everything on the same side or if I don't, uh, first of all, which one is bigger, log 3 or log 5, right? Since it's base 10, this is going to be an increasing function, as you know. So log 5 is going to be greater than log 3. So could we just factor out a log x to the power log 3 that should give us 1 plus this divided by that and that will be x to the power log 5 minus log 3 right equals 8 and then we could probably write this as log of 5 thirds but that's not going to help us a lot and in this case factoring doesn't really help us because I mean what do you get out of here right x to the power something I don't even know what log 3 is it's not going to be helpful. So factoring did not work, but I just tried. All right, so let's see what else can we do. Another method we can think about is, since our exponents are logs with base 10, can I just assume that x is a power of 10 maybe? And do you think that's going to be helpful? First of all, what is 10 to the power log of a? That's a good question, right? If you don't know what it is, set it equal to b, and then log both sides, right? That's probably one of the easiest to solve log equations by logging both sides, especially if the log is in the exponent, that's a variable in this case, right? So let's log both sides with base 10. And now, from properties of logarithms, this is going to be coming down, and log a times log 10 is going to be log b. But log 10 is just 1 because it's lo log 10 with base 10. So it's just 1. And this gives us log a equals log b. That's an increasing function, like I said earlier. So a equals b is automatically implied. Wait a minute. You mean a equals b or b equals a, right? What does that mean? It just means that Instead of saying, okay, 10 to the power log a equals b, I can just replace b with a, right? Isn't that awesome? So this gives us a really nice identity. Let's go ahead and hold on to that because we're going to use it in a little bit, all right? So I just wanted to give you a quick proof because this comes up a lot. So now we have x to the power log 3 plus x to the power log 5 equals 8. By the way, how many people noticed that 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. Does that help at all? Let's find out. So, how can I use this to my advantage? 10 to the power log something equals that thing. Well, I don't have 10, but we can assume that x is equal to 10, can we? Well, it's, it's going to be trial and error. x could also be 100 or something else. But instead of assuming that x is equal to 10, or why not assuming x equals 10? I mean, it doesn't hurt, right? So, suppose x equals 10. Here's some... Some proofs in math start. Suppose x equals 10 and we get a true statement. That means x equals 10 is true. So now, then we get 10 to the power log 3 plus 10 to the power log 5. And from this identity we just talked about, this is equal to 3 and that's equal to 5 and 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. Awesome. So x equals 10 works and that seems to be the solution. Is that the only solution though? Good question. Now, obviously, we can't always guess and check, right? I mean, we can always guess and check, but guessing always, I mean, it doesn't always work. So we have to be more careful. Obviously, you can use it for some problems, but 
it's not a guaranteed method, right? It's not going to give you all the solutions. So instead of, and I don't even know why I wrote this because I was supposed to write the original equation, x to the log 3 plus x to the log 5 equals 8. So instead of assuming that x is equal to 10, I just want to assume, hey, suppose x is a power of 10 because it could be, right? I mean, any number can be written as a power of 10, including square root of 10. That's 10 to the power 1 half, right? So let's go ahead and do this. Set x equal to 10 to the power b, because we already used a, right? Did I use b as well? Well, let's go ahead and use c then. <laughs> okay, I want to use something that I didn't use. And then I could use t as well, but anyways, I missed it. So here we get 10 to the power c to the power log 3 plus 10 to the power c. Again, I'm replacing x with that to the power log 5 is equal to 8. Now, this is a little far from using that identity, but not too far. So here's what I can do. These exponents are multiplied, so they could be switched around. So there's basically two ways to look at it. One way is just switch these around, 10 to the log 3 to the c, and 10 to the log 3, I mean log 5, to the c. So switch these around, and then that's equal to 8. And from the formula or the identity we just talked about a few times, this is 3 and this is 5. Isn't that awesome? Yay, we got something super duper manageable. And obviously 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. That's what I meant by that. And this implies c is equal to 1. Of course, we can always talk about whether this is the only solution. But before that, let's go ahead and look at an alternative uh, approach here. We could also do the following. You can write this as 10 to the power c log 3. Let me just do one of them. The other one is similar. And then you can bring it back up here, 10 to the power log 3 to the c. And then using the 10 to the power log, they're just going to cancel out. Because this is like log with base 10. This is base 10. They are inverse functions. They cancel out, leaving us with 3 to the power c, just like this one. Make sense? Now, let's go ahead and talk about why c equals 1 is the only solution, or is it the only solution? But let's do the second method first because I really like the second method, but I could be biased. I mean, you're going to get to decide which method is better. Okay, great. So here's how the second method works. Since we had this identity, remember, 10 to the power log a is equal to a, because this actually is equivalent to a to the power log 10, because a is equal to a to the power 1, which is equal to a to the power log 10. So here's what I'd like you to notice. Look at the 10 look at the 10, look at the a, look at the tabella, and look at the a. You see what I'm talking about? Okay, great. So what does that mean? It just means that those can be switched around. In other words, a to the power log b is b to the power log a. These numbers can always be switched around. Proof, log both sides, and you'll see they're equal. Of course, that's not a proof, but you get the idea. Cool. Now, here's what we can do then. We can switch the x and the 3. Uh-oh, I didn't mean to do that. So we can go ahead and just, you know, switch these around. That gives us 3 to the power log x plus 5 to the power log x equals 8. By the way, from here we get c equals 1, but we didn't get x, right? What is x? What is c? x is 10 to the c, and c is 1. That means x is 10. So let's see if we can find 10 again, and we should. So... This means log x is equal to 1 because 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. And log x equals 1 implies x equals 10. Now let's talk about why this is the only solution because this is an increasing function. And this is, of course, an increasing function because they are the same functions. And that can only intersect the horizontal line at a single point as follows. And... This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.